Hello YouTube, this is Plutonium. I'm sure most people understand the drama that's going on between Activision, but in case you don't, I'll get you caught up to speed. Are you tired of endlessly searching for stylish apparel and trendy home goods that cater to your entire family, including your beloved pets? Well, look no further. We're announcing an exciting new partnership with Fur Mama Peach, who has an incredible online shop that offers a vast collection of apparel and home goods for everyone. Yes, including your furry friends. Whether you're looking for something fashionable, stunning home decor, or adorable accessories for your pets, this shop has it all. Stay tuned for more details on how this partnership will revolutionize your shopping experience and provide you with a one-stop destination for all of your apparel and home needs, catering to every member of your family, pets included. Get ready to explore a world of endless possibilities and make your shopping dreams come true. In one of the older Call of Duty titles, Black Ops 3, there was a problem going around where hackers were able to scan your IP address and do other malicious things such as launch RCE exploits onto your computer. This has been quote unquote patched by Activision, but who's to say it can't happen again? For that reason alone, a community patch was made so that people could play the game safely. Hacking in Black Ops 3 is still rampant as ever, but I don't see any IP address skimming or any type of RCE exploits happening to people nowadays. With that being said though, most people want to stay away from Black Ops 3 because of these type of exploits. But people still want to play all the titles that they know and love, like Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3, etc. Clients like Plutonium, Boy, and what was supposed to be SM2 would allow people to play the old Call of Duty games or use old Call of Duty assets without having the fear of getting hacked or having your entire PC spread with malware. After a long two years of development, SM2 had to shut down its production due to a cease and desist that came from Activision. Not even a full week later, Xlabs, the creator of Boy, had to shut down their production for their client as well. Which means playing a client version of BO3 that is safe and would actually be monitored more regularly than Activision's version of BO3 is no longer existent. They're essentially killing Black Ops 3. With the death of SM2 as well, that completely destroys any ability to do something like that as it was its own entirely separate entity. Now, just as of last week, Charlie Intel on Twitter reports that the same issues are happening to Black Ops Cold War which is not even an old game. It wasn't even made a full three years ago yet. At launch, the game wasn't initially received well by the customer, but as the game time went around, it seems that people grew to like it a lot better than the newer Call of Duties that are coming out today. Though with that being said, the same problem happens to Cold War because it runs on an enhanced version of the Black Ops 3 engine. So the same IP address problem is happening, and it very well could be that the RCE exploit is there, but just nobody's noticed it yet, or that it hasn't happened yet. The facts show that it is very likely this could happen again. So for that reason, Charlie Intel's advised people to stay away from Cold War. Without the ability to play older games, or even a game that's not even three years old yet, it begs the question. There could be two things going on here. One, it's a bunch of nefarious actors at play. Or two, maybe it's Activision. What if they're trying to kill off the community by just hacking away and destroying people's systems so that they don't even feel inclined to touch these games anymore? So that their only choice is to play the new ones and they have a monopoly on that so that they always have you locked into the newest thing, even if it isn't great. Because if we look at the track record of Call of Duty, well, Modern Warfare 2 2019 or 2020, whatever it was, it, year it was, it isn't doing so hot right now as a game. People still want to play the old games though. So for that reason, we have Plutonium, the last man standing. Plutonium is great and it offers a bunch of the older games to actually still play legitimately. You don't have to worry about RCE hacking, but there is the potential you might run into a lobby with somebody using Sniper and just hacking away through with wall hack or whatever. It'll take a whole other video to describe how to do the setup, but for this video I'm going to show you what it's like to use plutonium and why people have been using it more often than actually playing the newer Call of Duties lately. This has been a boycott to Activision to ultimately say, 
we don't agree with how you treat the clients and these people trying to take better care of your old games. I don't personally agree with it, and I think Act Activision's fumbling the ball. Now, these clients like Plutonium don't support games up to Cold War because it's just too new. And sadly enough, there's no offline version of it that you could play, so hackers have a free gateway to do whatever they want with you. But you can play classics up to Black Ops 2. Now to download this client, all you're going to need to do is, I provided a link in the description to make it easier for you, but you're just going to go to the Plutonium website and it'll give you a step by step on how to download it. The link I have will take you right to the install page to show you all you need to do and click on. You can either click on download in the top right corner, or you can click the download p uh, plutonium.pw right there i'm not going to do it on my device because i already have it downloaded but you're just going to click that exe in the top corner and run it and go through the install process should take a while before finished but it shouldn't take too long i want to remind you that this does work on older systems too now with that out of the way what you're going to want to do is you'll see that each game you click on it has a setup option this is, we'll get into in another video but for this video i'm just going to show you what it's like to get into one of these games so for this one i'm just going to boot up black ops 2. this one would be the harder one to set up rather than uh, modern warfare 2. actually scratch that neither of them are really hard to set up it just took me a lot harder work to try and get Black Ops 2 set up for free rather than it did for Modern Warfare 3. Thankfully though, I did all the hard work so you don't have to. When you boot up the game, you're going to have to go online and you'll see that if you click on public match, you could set up your class, you could change your calling tag, your icon, change your um, clan tag. You can also check on your stats. And then you also have some other options, like the option to add score streaks, obviously. But um, you have the option to unlock all or reset your stat. And unlock all, what that's going to do is unlock every level, unlock every gun, max them all out, everything at 100. But the thing is, you won't see a level on your name because you unlocked all and you didn't do it legitimately. So the game will recognize that by not giving you a level. Okay, now for the reset stats it deletes everything you're back to level zero you have nothing you have no guns no prestige nothing so it is literally all or it is nothing and i don't like that personally so what i decided to do was play the game legitimately from this point i'll just give you gameplay and provide a link on how to download the black ops 2 version of this game so that you can play it yourself and set it up i'll also provide the link on how to set up and play modern warfare 3 if you want to choose to play that game instead weapon free
If you found this video helpful or just appreciate the content I'm making, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, anything under the sun to help this channel grow. Thank you. Expansion.